Alright, it's about that time where we start ranting and raving about old Call of Duty and new Call of Duty. So I'm in a private match in Black Ops Cold War right now, and very straight away I can see that this game has an infinitely better creative class system and setup than 2022. Whenever I hover over anything in the game, right? In fact, let me show you real quick, right? I'm going to throw in a bunch of attachments. Right. Okay, don't have a bunch of attachments, right? My weapon is modified to whatever, and you see those stupid bars have their green pips and their red pips. If I change any attachment, right, it shows me exactly what is being modified, when, and where. And here's the best part, right? There are a lot of people out there who think that, oh, well, I don't want that because it's so confusing. Don't know how, but whatever. All you have to do is press RT. Wow. Now you can have your BS, no real information given. And even then, Black Ops Cold War is still giving you more information, right? It doesn't say plus vertical recoil control. It says plus 15%. Now, 15% of what? We don't know until you hit the details. But even that is better than what we have in Modern Warfare 2022. Keep in mind, this game was made on a crunch budget by like the most B of B teams after they picked up the sloppy mess of like the Z and like X teams. So for them to be able to do this and 22 with 3,000 devs, it's just sad. <laughs> sad. Camo screen. I don't really care about the camos too much in this game, I'll be honest. I don't have a single gold camo because these look like super lame. Diamond admittedly looks better, but Black Ops 2 Diamond is better. And then Dark Matter Ultra is like ultra wag. I would never equip this. However, what is better? Reticles. For whatever, whatever new side I have equipped, I can unlock new reticles. It's just amazing, right? How can you not have that in? 22. Like, it doesn't make any sense. Accessories don't matter. Stickers don't matter. It's BS, right? Perk system. Classic three perks. If you want to do better, throw on Perk Greed. You get throw on uh, Lawbreaker. You get throw on Gunfighter. Like, dude, this game actually has customization. And whether it's balanced or not isn't really part of the equation. Tech 9 exists, but... It's so much better than 2022. Switching gears over to Modern Slop Fairs 2. Uh, this game doesn't have any right to be bad. Because it's Call of Duty, right? The foundation doesn't really change. You pick up a gun, you go shoot people. It's nothing terribly complicated, but they can't get the UI right. They can't get the features of the UI right. They can't get customization and player facing data right like I don't understand all you had to do is the simplest of changes right because infinity ward works with stats that's how they make buffs and nerfs post the freaking stats of each attachment why else would you have a billion of them because each one does something slightly different than another and for something to have so much thought put behind it but also have no thought at all put behind it, it's just perplexing. Again, we're gonna go to creative class, right? Looking at the Chimera, I have all these different things and you have this stupid green and red stat bars that change. If I change something on here, another stat change, but I don't know what was changed, I don't know how it was changed. And even if you go, well, you have a firing range, you can test it out like that, right? This firing range is whack. Let's take a quick mosey on down here, right? Damn. At least one of those bullets was hitting, but I have 36% accuracy. Let me go back and change this. Whoops, I gotta back out. Throw on the Husher. Go back to the Pol Polar Fire S. No changing on the tuning. Back to the firing range. I got no idea what was changed. 
There's no way for me to know. All this testing, you'd have to have ridiculous plots posted, which is pointless and a waste of my time. You could just post the stats like you did in Black Ops Cold War or Vanguard and be about your merry day. And then to throw a weapon tuning on top of that, where this may or may not make an actual difference in your handling or with your damage or whatever, why would you not post the stats? This stupid graph here tells me absolutely nothing. Weight and length changes, what the hell does that even mean? It's not intuitive. Pros and cons don't really mean anything. We don't have any actual numbers besides the weight and the length, but that doesn't mean anything in terms of gameplay. Again, right? If, you, if, if there's some like dude out there who thinks that this is simple, easy to digest, and better for them, like, great, congratulations. But I, would, I think most of us like to know exactly what's going on with the stuff that we're editing as we edit it. So post that information. You have all this dead space to the right of this little menu here, all over here on the gun. You can post a little menu here. Like, I, I don't get it, dude.